So my problem now is that I have this stick and I put a lot of music on it and I have here two USB ports for it and one USB port, uh, port doesn't recognize it the other one recognizes it but it tells me there is no playable audio on the device and I didn't check it at home because I had to hurry so now I'm a little bit fucked up because I don't have any music only the radio which I don't like so it's gonna be interesting ha! so I'm really excited because I just started my trip from Hungary to the Netherlands and why because I want to pick up my new bike my new motorbike my dream bike hopefully hopefully the bike will be okay and it will be worth the trip because it's and for those who are not familiar with the kilometers i will i will write the conversion down in miles so it's about 1700 kilometers far away from me and since i'm driving this little car with a trailer on it i'm allowed i think maximum 80 kilometers per hour to, to drive the speed so it's gonna be a tough ride but Hungary Austria Germany and then the Netherlands and my first stop will be tonight near Budapest to pick up a friend of mine so because he will join me and maybe he will also buy something if we find something suitable for him so yeah somewhere in Germany it's wonderful rainy weather it's uh, like half past seven in the morning My friend has his coffee yeah cool so we continue our journey to the Netherlands <laughs> currently somewhere between Nuremberg and Frankfurt am Main so it's like 180 kilometers to Frankfurt and about 650 kilometers to the Netherlands and we have now the Sun is shining so a better weather previously it was raining it's cool it's cool I can't wait to arrive so if you may ask what happened to my Suzuki bandit uh, it was my very first bike it was very difficult to as a, for, for me personally to, to sell it but I, I advertised it and within two weeks it was gone and I sold it on the end of April. We had great time together for the last eight years. And I think last year when, when I went with my bike to Romania to the to the Transfogarashan and the, the Transalpina, that was you know that was the the top, the the best thing I could ever do with that bike. And I said it's time for change. Yeah. So that's what happened. Now I'm going to pick up my, hopefully my dream bike. So, cheers. There's no time to waste. 
Kommt zum Mitnehmen! that in the middle of nowhere you have this really cool BMW dealer lots of bikes and super bikes touring everything cafe racer yeah it's amazing here in the middle of nowhere in Germany really cool what do you say it's promising promising okay but uh, depends on the price. It's a Honda 300 CCM Forza. Or Forza, I don't know how to say it. It's a nice bike. So we are already in the Netherlands. Actually, I've never been here, but yeah. If you speak English and German, you will understand a lot because Dutch sounds like a mixture of German and English, but in addition, you have also like a fatal error in your throat and it's like... <laughs> it's like, you know, some early Dillinger Escape Plan records. <laughs> Still have about 60 kilometers to arrive and tomorrow we're gonna pick up my dream bike. Really excited. in the morning I'm currently in Osterwalde in the Netherlands so gotta go and pick up my new bike yeah it's just really peaceful and wonderful here so we are at Höxtra Motoren Let's see what we got here. KTM, MV Augusta, BMW, Triumph, Honda, and look, 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 look. That's a Kawasaki H2. That's cool. That's cool. guy has some great bikes GSX-R nice 1000 R Ducatis Ninja 1000 look at this it's the Ninja H2 Seeing this bike live, not so easy. Though. It's so special. It's uh, with the barbecue. It's uh, 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 yeah, with the snow, snow magic, and everything. It's yeah. 
Yeah. Actually, this is a Mercedes. Yes, it's true. It's a barbecue car. Yeah. Everything is working, huh? <laughs> <coughs> we go uh, 17 or 18 days. Yeah. And we go, uh, it's about 10,000 kilometers. Cool. Yes. Yeah, guys. Hupstra. Hupstra Motoren. The Netherlands. Osterwolde. Some amazing bikes there. Check out the... the yeah. Okay. The, the homepage link will be in the description of this video. Okay? So, let's listen to the nice aircraft. A new customer. <laughs> Already. Netherlands and we are approximately about 10 kilometers before Bielefeld because we want to check out another bike for my friend here because the Honda we, we checked the, the Forza 300 mm, we said 
it was not good. The gut feeling said, don't buy it somehow. So we've decided to continue our road without that Honda and yeah. But the Kawasaki Z1000SX is coming home with us. In the US, it's called the Ninja 1000. Yeah. In Europe, it's called the Z1000SX. I think so, at least. So we are in Bielefeld. We want to check out a, another bike for my friend. Let's see how it turns out. We stopped here and Tibor just bought the motorbike and it took a lot of time to do all the paperwork and there it is there there, there. that's it and they will test it now just very fast and then we will load it here next to my Ninja 1000 and we have to start our way because it's like Oh my god, it's almost 4 o'clock and we are too far away, very far away from home, so, damn. Mennyire állítsam a láncolajzást? in the evening and we are just we are using now a, another route a different route so we are now going from Germany so Netherlands Germany and then Czech Republic Slovakia and then to Hungary so we are now currently about 160 kilometers from the Czech border it's gonna be a long ride since we still have a little bit more than 800 kilometers to Budapest and then I still have 250 kilometers to my hometown so it's gonna be a long night but we are here <laughs> Czech Republic. 
Republic behind us. I think from here, Hungary is not so far away. I don't know exactly how many kilometers Slovakia is on this road, but it shouldn't be more than a hundred kilometers. So. just entered Hungary. What a great feeling. Still have some kilometers to go but we are already in Hungary and that's what matters. Cool. So we just arrived in Hungary and yeah want to check the bikes because in the Czech Republic we just realized that one of these traps this one here was cut even though I put some socks here because this is really sharp and it can cut these traps so always be careful I put, I put here some socks but everything is fine everything is nice and fine so yeah we are going home. About uh, 170 kilometers, I think, to Dibos place. And then I take a nap. And then I still have about 250 kilometers to go home. So, but it's definitely worth it. Definitely worth it. Okay, so got still about 190 kilometers to go to be back home. My bike stayed at Tibor's place. Oh, look, police. Okay. And uh, because we have to make all the paperwork to have all the stuff ready for the bike to be here in, in Hungary. So I've left it there maybe in one or two weeks it will be ready and then I can go there and pick it up. So yeah, two hours and I'm home. No, a little bit later because I still have to bring back the, the trailer and pay for it. So later finally at home after 3450 kilometers so i hope in the next two weeks the administration and the paperwork for my bike will be ready and i can go and pick it up oh that was devastating but totally worth it stay tuned cheers